Welcome to the 2020 Holy Cross of San Antonio virtual graduation ceremony. Members of the Board of Trustees, parents and families, we gather virtually today to celebrate the 43 young men and women of the 2020 senior class of Holy Cross of San Antonio. Community is a hallmark of a Holy Cross education and it seems strange not to gather in person. However, we understand the realities of the COVID-19 pandemic and believe that the health and safety of our community make a virtual graduation a necessity. For many of our students, this marks the completion of a lifetime of Catholic school education. Parents, thank you for choosing Holy Cross and partnering with us to raise well-rounded students to become productive citizens by striving towards the ideals of Blessed Basil Moreau, the founder of the Congregation of Holy Cross. While we prepare useful citizens for society, we likewise do our utmost to prepare citizens for eternal life. Congratulations to our graduates for a job well done. We're excited about the possibilities that await each and every one of you. God bless. Let us all join together in the presence of God as we say, in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Heavenly Father, today our hearts are filled with joy and gratitude as we complete this chapter of our lives. Lord, we know that none of us would be here without your guidance and that of our family. Thank you for the constant love and support. We know they are your hand in our lives. We are also ever thankful for the faculty, staff, and administration who helped us shape us into Holy Cross men and women. All have inspired us to learn and to serve others by your loving hand. In a special way tonight, we thank you for the gift of friendship we find in the class of 2020. I ask you to bless each and every graduate here tonight to be with them throughout the rest of their journey. As we now leave Holy Cross, help us to remember that your love is never ending no matter the trials we may face. May we never forget those who have guided us as we walk the stage tonight, as well as our respective campuses next fall. The class of 2020, our families, friends, and Holy Cross ask all these things in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Our Lady of Guadalupe. Pray for us. Saint Joseph. Pray for us. Saint Brother Andre. Pray for us. In the name of the Father, the Son, Holy Spirit. The founder of the Congregation of Holy Cross, Blessed Father Basil Moreau, believed that we should never educate the mind at the expense of the heart. Today, we honor those students who made significant contributions to our school through their achievements both inside and outside the classroom. The following seniors have made such contributions. In Fine Arts, Daisy Salas and Regina Ritter. Environmental Science, Jaden Garcia. AP Biology, Jacqueline Lada. Anatomy and Physiology, Regina Ritter. AP Calculus, Juan Santos. English 4, Christopher Davila. In Precalculus, Jaden Garcia. AP English 4, Regina Ritter. AP Environmental Science, Eriberto Lerma. Theology 4, Regina Ritter. College Algebra, Rigo Cisneros. United States Government, Jaden Garcia. Economics, Regina Ritter. Spanish 3, Christopher Davila. And in Campus Ministry, Ms. Annalisa Vasquez. As you have just witnessed, this was a very successful class. This class has earned to date over $9 million in competitive scholarships and grants to universities such as St. Edward's, St. Mary's, Our Lady of the Lake, Trinity University, Texas A&M, the University of Texas, Texas Lutheran, University of the Incarnate Word, and other schools of prestige, as well as two enlistments into the United States Air Force. This class includes students who participated in the dual credit program made possible by a partnership between Holy Cross and Our Lady of the Lake University. 
These students wear a black cord today and will take collectively over 400 hours of college credit with them to their respective campuses next fall. As illustrated by their academic accomplishments, college acceptances, enlistments, and scholarship offerings, I'm sure all will agree that the class of 2020 will leave Holy Cross with a mind that is both prepared to overcome all adversity they face and a heart of service that is open to serving their community. Proof of this generous heart is demonstrated by this class's ability to juggle their demanding course loads while still performing over 25,000 hours of Christian service over their four years at Holy Cross. The most glowing examples of this are shown by the graduates wearing white cords today. They represent the top 10% of their class in regards to performing Christian service hours. Of these white corded graduates, one stands out for his extraordinary amount of service. For these efforts, he will receive two service awards tonight. The Brother Andre Christian Service Award is named after Holy Cross's first and only saint. He found joy in serving others and inspired many to live a life of service and humility. For amassing over 884 hours of Christian service during his high school career, we bestow both the Brother Andre Christian Service Award as well as a Bronze Presidential Service Award to Mr. Rudolfo Mendez. This same spirit of Holy Cross Christian service motivated our red corded graduates to give the gift of life. These particular students donated at least six units of their blood during their high school career. And their donations combined with the rest of their class amassed over 150 units of blood. This commitment to academic excellence and to having the courage to act for the betterment of their world is what makes these and all Holy Cross graduates stand out among all others. Two of these students have achieved the honor of being this year's valedictorian and salutatorian. The salutatorian award is awarded to the student with the second highest grade point average. This year's salutatorian has earned a 4.11 GPA will attend University of Texas at San Antonio next fall, where he plans on majoring in business management and has amassed an impressive 305,620 in scholarship offerings. Please help me congratulate this year's salutatorian, Mr. Ediberto Lerma. The valedictorian award is given to the student with the highest cumulative GPA. This year's honoree finished her high school career with a 4.26 grade point average and will attend Trinity University in the fall where she plans on double majoring in accounting and finance with a minor in Spanish. She has amassed $327,500 in scholarship money offerings. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my great honor to announce that the 2020 Holy Cross of San Antonio valedictorian is Ms. Magdalena Nava. Earlier this summer, Mr. Richard Moreno received the Archbishop's Medallion Award in honor of his contributions to his parish and school communities. Congratulations, Ricky. The Brother Stanley Collada Code Award, formerly known as the Holy Cross Code Award, is the highest honor bestowed on a Holy Cross graduate. Selected by faculty, students, and administration, the recipient of this award most embodies those qualities outlined in our Holy Cross Code. In brief, the Holy Cross student is a refined person who lives by faith. The Holy Cross student is studious and regards learning as a duty, intellectual perfection as an honor. The Holy Cross student is loyal to God and country. Devotion to their school and their teachers is demonstrated by the cooperation, zeal, and spirit. They are friends to all because they are members of the body of Christ. Ladies and gentlemen, receiving the 2020 Brother Stanley Collada Code Award is Miss Daisy Salas. I now introduce to you our valedictory speaker, Miss Magdalena Nap. Hello, friends, family, teachers, administrators, my classmates, and everyone at home watching. I know this is not the ideal situation in which we would have liked to celebrate the class of 2020, but nonetheless, we are celebrating. I would like to start by saying congratulations 
to all my classmates. The last couple of months of school were challenging and I have no idea who allowed our teachers access to Google Classroom, but the late night and early morning assignment notifications have not been missed. I still remember going to my last softball practice during spring break and all the team talking about how one more week off of school would be so great. Coach Chileo had overheard us talking and told us that if we were not in school, we would not be able to practice or play. We kind of just brushed it off, saying that they would never cancel school because it felt like everything that was happening was so far away from us. But that very day, as soon as I got home from practice, the team received the text saying that the season would be postponed until April 13th, which seemed so far away at the time. I had a feeling we would not be getting back to the field that season, but it still had not really hit me. I believe this pandemic brought into focus the most important things in life. Me, as much as the next senior, wanted all the celebrations that came with the end of senior year. But as we all know, health is much more important. I know it feels as though high school was a lifetime ago because of everything that had happened during these past few months. But I am a firm believer of everything happens for a reason. And I think everybody got a different learning experience from this to take along with them in the next steps of their life. On behalf of my classmates, I would, I think we would like to thank all our teachers, coaches, and administrators. Each and every one of you have played an important part in our success and growing during our time at Holy Cross, and we could not thank you enough. Your time, effort, and sacrifices you put into each student individually does not go unnoticed, and we appreciate it very much. Thank you for always being a helping hand or a listening ear when we needed it. Thank you for taking the time to see our potential from the very beginning and for your patience. We thank you for preparing us for the next steps in our lives and we will miss you. Next, I would like to thank our parents and families. I would like to start off with my family. Mom, Papa, and Jay, thank you for always supporting me and loving me unconditionally. I would have loved to walk the stage with my valedictorian collar because it belongs to you too. Without your sacrifices and guidance, none of this would have been possible. You gave me all the tools to succeed, so this award and graduation is yours as it is much mine. I am so grateful to have you and I love you all so much. To all our parents and or grandparents, there are no words to describe the amount of sacrifices you made, not only financially, but with your time. Spending your time on someone, whether it be sports games, a prayer service, or a banquet, is the greatest gift you could give. Thank you for skipping that meeting, getting out of work earlier, or driving to another city just to watch us play. We may not say it all the time or realize it ourselves, but we do appreciate it very much. It is because of you we are able to walk the stage today and be part of the Holy Cross family. To the class of 2020, I'm sure most of us feel like we have graduated already and are ready to move on, but we should have one more look over the memories we created over the years. I know some people have been here since sixth grade, but whether you have been here seven years or one year, we have made an impact on each other's lives and created what we will remember as our high school experience. Here are some of the great memories I will take with me. I remember Coach Delio telling my dad that I would be part of the softball summer league. I did not really know anyone on the team and I had came to my first practice. I was kind of shy and did not really talk to anybody, but Anna had asked me to throw with her, so I did. Later on at practice, she was hitting and I was catching when she hit a foul ball and it hit my finger and almost broke it. She laughed and that was the start of our friendship. Fish cape Fish camp came a week before school started and I only knew one person in the class and she was not put in my group. I did not really make new friends that day, but I do remember Daisy being in my group and complaining the entire time about her back. Nothing has really changed since then. Freshman year, we made it to the final four for softball and honestly, I did not even know we made it that far until they announced it at the sports banquet. That really shows how clueless freshmen really are. That year, we also had Coach Bodeo as our world geography teacher, and I remember every test day, everyone would try and ask him as many questions as they could so he can get off topic and postpone the test till the next day. Sophomore year was pretty memorable for me. One, one, funny, one funny memory would be when we were on our way to the state meet and Renee, Ariberto, and me were driving with Coach Luna, who was following Coach Salas, who drives pretty questionable, and we missed the exit, so Coach Luna reversed on the highway so we can get on the ramp. A highlight of junior year would be in Miss Elisa's sixth grade pre-cal class when we were supposed to be learning like we did every day in that class. And Eddie Berto and Rob were playing with paper airplanes and Eddie threw it across the room and hit Renee in the cheek. 
I started choking on the water I was drinking because I was laughing so hard and ended up throwing in front of throwing up in front of everyone in the class and we had to move classrooms. Although I cannot mention anyone everyone in this speech, I know in some way or another we have shared a memory. These past four years are full of good times, bad times, stressful moments, proud moments, and successes that we hopefully take with us to remember and look back at. We are all not best friends, but we are family and that counts for a lot more. I would like to give one last thank you to family, friends, parents, grandparents, teachers, coaches, and administration for all your love, support, and guidance throughout our years here. To the class of 2020, I'm glad we got to share our high school years together, even though our last year was cut short. I hope you look back at our time together with a smile and look into the future with hope. Good luck to everyone on their next journey. I, Dr. Rene Escobedo, as principal of Holy Cross of San Antonio, do certify that all the graduates have met the requirements of the state of Texas and fulfill the code of Holy Cross of San Antonio. I present to you the class of 2020, the 60th class of Holy Cross. Jacob Aaron Arguello will be attending the University of Texas at San Antonio, majoring in mechanical engineering. Jake has amassed $286,000 in scholarship money, which includes Our Lady of the Lake University's highest academic scholarship. Congratulations, Jake. Nicholas Benjamin Bernal will be attending San Antonio College in the fall, majoring in marketing. Nick has amassed $28,000 in scholarship monies this year. Congratulations, Nick. Carol Ann Bustos will be attending St. Philip's College in the fall, majoring in marine biology. Congratulations, Carol Ann. <laughs> Emily Marie Cabrera will be attending Texas A&M University in San Antonio in the fall, majoring in psychology. This year, Emily has amassed $159,000 in scholarship money. Congratulations, Emily. <laughs> Daniel Christopher Cardona will be attending Frank Phillips College this fall, majoring in psychology. Daniel has amassed $10,172 in scholarship monies this year. Congratulations, Daniel. <laughs> Nathan Cavazos will be attending Holy Cross College in the fall majoring in psychology and counseling. Nathan has been awarded $551,208 in scholarship monies this year. Congratulations, Nathan. Rigoberto Diego Cisneros will be attending Grand Canyon University in the fall, majoring in biology with a pre-medicine concentration. This year, Rigo has amassed $81,000 in scholarship monies. Today, he will be receiving an academic award in college algebra. Congratulations, Rigo. <laughs> Marcos Antonio Coronado will be attending Howard Payne University, and he'll be studying kinesiology. Marcos has amassed $84,000 in scholarship monies this year. Congratulations, Marcos. Christopher Ryan Davila will be attending Our Lady of the Lake University in the fall, majoring in psychology. He's received scholarship awards in the amount of $118,000. Today, he'll be receiving academic awards in English 4 and Spanish 3. He's also achieved the rank of Eagle Scout in the Boy Scouts of America. Congratulations, Chris. Andrea Diaz will be attending San Antonio College in the fall, majoring in kinesiology. Andrea has amassed $60,000 in scholarship monies this year. Congratulations, Andrea. Rene Escobedo will be attending St. Edward's University, majoring in biochemistry. 
Renee has amassed $559,304. This includes the highest academic scholarships at Our Lady of the Lake University and the University of Portland. Renee is also the recipient of the highly prestigious Moreau Scholarship at St. Edwards University. Congratulations, Renee. Nicholas Lazaro Espinosa will be attending Highland Community College in the fall, majoring in general studies. Due to his dedication, he has received a full scholarship to Highland Community College, covering all tuition and books. Congratulations, Nick. Rudy Mateo Flores will be attending Grand Canyon University in the fall, majoring in mechanical engineering. This year, Rudy has amassed $163,600 in scholarship monies. Congratulations, Rudy. Rachel Esperanza Gallardo will be attending Our Lady of the Lake University in the fall, majoring in psychology. This year, Rachel has amassed a scholarship amount of $448,000. Congratulations, Rachel. Jaden Dominic Garcia will be attending Palo Alto College in the fall, majoring in business administration and management. This year, Jaden has amassed $224,620 in scholarship monies. Also, today he receives academic awards in environmental science, pre-calculus, and United States government. Congratulations, Jaden. Roman Rene Garza will be attending Texas Lutheran University in the fall, majoring in business with a minor in criminal justice. Roman has amassed $683,460 in scholarship monies. Congratulations, Roman. Alejandro Antonio Guerrero will be attending Ancilla College in the fall, majoring in sports management. Congratulations, Alejandro. Yay! Edward Michael Guerrero will be attending Our Lady of the Lake University in the fall, double majoring in accounting and business management. This year, Eddie has amassed a scholarship amount of $50,000. Congratulations, Eddie. Jacqueline Alice Lara will be attending the University of Texas at San Antonio in the fall, double majoring in biology and chemistry. This year, Jacqueline has amassed a scholarship amount of $132,000. Today, she will also be receiving the AP Biology Subject Award. Congratulations, Jacqueline. Yay! Eddie Berto Lerma is attending the University of Texas at San Antonio in the fall, majoring in business management. This year, Ediberto has amassed $305,620 in scholarship money to include the top tier academic scholarships at both Our Lady of the Lake University and the University of the Incarnate Word. Today, he is receiving the academic award for AP Environmental Science. It is my pleasure to announce that Ediberto, with a 4.11 grade point average, is the Holy Cross class of 2020's salutatory. Congratulations, Ediberto. <laughs> Mason Malik Martin will be attending the University of St. Thomas in the fall, majoring in biology with a pre-medicine concentration. Mason has amassed $650,240 in scholarship money this year. Congratulations, Mason. <laughs> Stephen Anthony Martinez will be attending the University of Texas at San Antonio, majored in health science. Stephen has been awarded a total of $174,000 in scholarship money. Congratulations, Stephen. Jonathan Ellenwood James Matthews will be attending Northwest Vista College in the fall, 
majoring in political science with a concentration in law studies. This year, Jonathan has amassed $76,000 in scholarship monies. Congratulations, Jonathan. Christopher James Malero will be proudly enlisted in the United States Air Force. Congratulations, Chris. Rudolfo Tomas Mendez will be attending San Antonio College in the fall, majoring in law enforcement. Today, because of his service efforts, Rudy will be receiving the Bronze Presidential Service Award and the highest service award at Holy Cross this year, the Brother Andre Service Award. Congratulations, Rudy. Kalijah Jabari Michael will be attending Texas A&M University in Kingsville in the fall, majoring in general business. This year, Kalijah has amassed $92,000 in scholarship monies. Congratulations, Kalijah. Kristen Elise Moreno will be attending the University of the Incarnate Word this fall, majoring in marketing with a minor in psychology. Kristen has amassed a scholarship amount of $154,000 this year. Congratulations, Kristen. Richard Jude Moreno will be attending St. Mary's University in the fall, majoring in marketing and management. This year, Richard has accrued $568,800 in scholarship monies. This includes the highest academic tier scholarships at both Grand Canyon University and the University of the Incarnate Word. Additionally, due to his high commitment to his faith at both parish and school communities, he was awarded this year's Archbishop's Medallion Medal for Holy Cross. Congratulations, Ricky. All right, Rick. Magdalena Nava will be attending Trinity University in the fall, double majoring in accounting and finance with a minor in Spanish. This year, Maggie has amassed $327,500 in scholarship monies to include the prestigious Valero Alamo Bowl Student Athlete Scholarship. It is my pleasure today to announce that Maggie, with a 4.26 grade point average, is the Holy Cross Class of 2020's valedictorian. Congratulations, Maggie. Christopher Jacob Olivares will be attending the University of Texas at Permian Basin, majoring in environmental science. Congratulations, Christopher. Armand Edward Patino will be attending Texas State University this fall, majoring in international business. Armand has amassed a scholarship amount of $98,000 this year. Congratulations, Armand. Adriana Jo Ramirez will be attending Our Lady of the Lake University next fall, majoring in communication disorders with a minor in communication arts. This year, Adriana has amassed a scholarship total of $367,320. Congratulations, Adriana. Regina Catherine Ritter will be attending St. Joseph's College in Maine, majoring in theology. She's received scholarships totaling $234,000 to include the University of Incarnate Word's highest tier academic scholarship. Today, she'll be receiving academic awards in Anatomy and Physiology, AP English 4, Theology 4, and Economics. Congratulations, Regina. Sarah Victoria Rivera will be attending the University of the Incarnate Word in the fall, majoring in nursing. This year, Sarah has amassed $134,000 in scholarship money. Congratulations, Sarah. Robert Roland Rodriguez will be attending Trinity University in the fall, majoring in engineering science and business administration. 
This year, Robert has amassed $866,400 in scholarship monies. This includes the highest tier academic scholarships at Concordia University, Our Lady of the Lake University, the University of Incarnate Word, and Texas Lutheran University. Congratulations, Robert. Daisy Jade Summers will be attending Ottawa University, majoring in psychology with a concentration in criminal justice. Daisy has been awarded $234,300 in scholarship monies to include the highest tiered scholarships at Grand Canyon University and Our Lady of the Lake University. Today, she'll be receiving an academic award in fine arts. And it is my great honor to announce that Miss Daisy Salas is this year's recipient of the highest award bestowed on a Holy Cross graduate, the Brother Stanley Collada Code Award. Congratulations, Daisy. Gilbert Salas will be attending the University of the Incarnate Word this fall, majoring in business. Gilbert has amassed a scholarship amount of $170,000. Congratulations, Gilbert. Juan Jose Santos II will be attending the University of Texas at San Antonio, where he will major in education. Today, Juan will be receiving the Senior Subject Award of AP Calculus. Congratulations, Juan. Josiah Daniel C. Fuentes will attend Texas Tech University in the fall, majoring in biochemistry. Josiah has amassed $513,000 in scholarship money. This includes the highest academic scholarship at the University of Colorado in Colorado Springs. Congratulations, Josiah. Joseph Anthony Trevino will be attending Texas Lutheran University in the fall, majoring in physical therapy. This year, Joe has amassed $136,000 in scholarship monies. Congratulations, Joe. Yeah. Aubrey Elise Urias will be attending San Antonio College in the fall with a major in marine biology. Due to her service efforts in the community, Aubrey was awarded the Presidential Gold Service Medal. Congratulations, Aubrey. Annalisa Daniel Vasquez will be attending Shriner University in the fall, majoring in nursing. Annalisa has amassed $206,800 in scholarship monies. This includes the highest academic scholarship at Our Lady of the Lake University. Anna is also receiving the Campus Ministry Award for this year. Congratulations, Anna. Gabriel Clemente Villa has received $48,000 in scholarship monies this year and is proudly enlisting in the United States Air Force. Congratulations, Gabe. Class of 2020, as official graduates, you may now move your tassel to the left side of your cap. Good luck and may God bless the class of 2020.
Buenas noches. Es un gran honor y placer de hablar de parte de mis compañeros de la clase de graduación 2020. En este día tan especial, hoy marca el fin de una etapa importante de nuestras vidas. Agradecemos a todos los que han contribuido y que nos han dado apoyo en nuestros años de nuestros estudios. Especialmente les damos las gracias a nuestros padres y familias por su constante apoyo, por sus sacrificios y su confianza en nosotros. Esperamos que lo que hemos hecho hasta ahora les hagan sentir orgullosos. Sin, sin nuestras familias respectivas y el apoyo nos han demostrado que no hubiéramos llegado a este punto en nuestra carrera escolar. Estos, entonces les dedicamos esta celebración a nuestras familias. Nuestro esfuerzo, de, dedicación y compromiso a la tradición de Holy Cross es un testamento de su gran amor y apoyo que hemos recibido en estos años de prepa preparatoria. Muchas gracias y que Dios los bendiga y para siempre. Good evening. It is my great honor and pleasure to address you on behalf of the graduating class of 2020. Today, which marks the end of an important stage in our lives, we would like to thank all of those people who have inspired and encouraged us to hold on to our dreams. We would especially like to thank those people who have given us constant support throughout our years at Holy Cross. Therefore, it is you, our families, who dedicate the celebration. This expression of hard work, dedication, and commitment to the Holy Cross tradition is a testament to all of the love and encouragement we have received through our high school years. May God bless you abundantly, now and always. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Dear Lord, we thank you for the celebration of the class of 2020. Though we are celebrating in a different manner this year, we ask that you give us the strength to always live in the spirit that transformed us over a very short four years. We pray that the bonds we made will endure life's inevitable ups and downs, and that which we have learned at Holy Cross will guide our choices and actions. We also ask in a special way, Lord, for your mercy on the whole world as we face the challenges of the COVID pandemic. We ask for the repose of the souls which we have lost, for the healing of those who are still struggling, and for our frontline medical workers who are your hands on earth caring for all those affected. We ask all these things in your name with the holy intercession of Our Lady Guadalupe, St. Joseph, and St. Brother Andre, amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. On behalf of the Board of Trustees, the faculty, staff, and administration of Holy Cross of San Antonio, thank you for celebrating with us the class of 2020.